Hey, this is Dino, and today I have a quick example I would like to show you, an Apigee proxy that performs header injections. Now, as you know, Apigee in the cloud acts as a smart, configurable API proxy. What that means is a client would send a request into Apigee. Apigee can then receive that request, do something with it, and then send another request to some upstream system. The second request, the proxied request, uh, by default mirrors the inbound request, the, the request that the client sent. So if the client sends a get for slash foo, then Apigee will send a get for slash foo to the upstream system. The only thing that's different is the endpoint, this, the host endpoint or host name. Uh, but because Apigee is a smart configurable proxy, it can do lots of other things uh, to that request. It can modify or shape the request. It can route the request. Uh, it can rate limit and so on. Uh, one way to modify the request might be to add or remove headers. So a client might send a request in that bears one, two, or three headers, uh, maybe including an authorization header. Apigee can look at that, uh, do some things, maybe verify the authorization header, and then set some other headers and remove the authorization header uh, before sending a new request to the upstream system. We might call that header injection or mediation of the request. I've got an example API proxy that does just that. So uh, it listens at the base path of header injection. Really, we have just one conditional flow in here, uh, which looks for, uh, so the, the request ought to include a an inbound header just called JWT. It then verifies the JWT and there, and implicitly by verifying that JWT will extract the claims within the JWT and then uses an assign message policy to set injected headers into the request uh, containing the values of the claims that were decoded from the JWT. Uh, then transmits that uh, that new request, that, that proxied request to the upstream system, which in my case is just an endpoint that echoes uh, the response. So if I send a response into that thing, uh, it'll send a, a payload that, that echoes it back. Uh, and let me just show you what that would look like. Uh, so here we've got a, uh, a terminal window, and I can do a curl a get on that endpoint. And you can see what the, the payload back says, uh, just what we sent it. It says, oh, well, you sent me a get. Uh, the path was slash. And here are a bunch of headers that the, the application itself uh, received. The client didn't send all these. Uh, it did send the host and so on. Uh, it sent the user agent and the accept header. These other headers, these X app engine headers, end up coming from uh, the Google Cloud endpoint in front of this uh, system. So that's not something that the client sent, but in any case, you can see the echo uh, payload. So what we want to do is use this endpoint as the target for our proxy, and we'll use that to demonstrate the header injection. Uh, now, the way this is going to work is this is already deployed. Let me turn on uh, tracing for this thing. And what are we going to send? We need to send a JWT and a particular kind of JWT. This is going to be a JWT that's issued by Google Sign-In. So just like uh, Okta or Auth0 or maybe Apple and some other identity providers, Google's got a sign-in. Uh, and I've built a page that just allows me to sign in. When I click it, it says, hey, choose an account to sign into. All of these are, are valid um, sign-ins. Uh, so let me just choose um, this Gmail account. I'm already signed in. I've already had the password, so I don't have to sign it in. And sign in again. Uh, but here's the ID token that comes back when uh, when that happens. And really, this is just a signed JWT signed by Google that contains a bunch of claims. This um, web page also decodes the claims. You can actually see them. That's really easy to do. It's just a matter of Base64 decoding this this purple section. Uh, and then printing out the results. Uh, but anyway, that's all coded in the JWT. What I want is to copy that JWT uh, token. So I, I click this button and I'm copying that. And then I'm gonna go back to my terminal window uh, and I'm gonna set a shell variable with that value. Okay, so that's the thing that the, the sign-in from Google gave me. Uh, now what I wanna do is invoke that API proxy. So I'll do a curl, it's just a get. I need the header. Uh, called JWT to carry that value. So that's just dollar sign JWT. And then what I want to do is um, 
key in the, the endpoint and path for this particular uh, proxy. And for me, it's going to be like this, .NET, uh, and it's header injection is the, is the base path, uh, which that proxy is listening at, and then dash T, or slash T1 is just the, the conditional path. And I'm going to send that in. And what you see is the same kind of payload that we got from the echo endpoint, except now there are injected headers. And these headers were injected by the API proxy. Let's take a look at what happened. Uh, the API proxy received the inbound request, bearing that JWT in a header. Uh, Apogee used the verify JWT policy to, um, to verify the signature on that JWT and then extract all the claims, uh, extract and decode uh, all those claims, including things like um, email address and issued at time and so on. There's my email address for the JWT that uh, Google issued. And then we just run this uh, add headers uh, policy, which uh, injects the headers that, um, that had been uh, extracted from the JWT, those three new headers, and then forwards that, sends that to the uh, upstream system. So these are the three headers that Apogee is going to send. And then you saw in the echo that those are the ones that the upstream system received. Now, th these can be anything. I just chose three claims, sub, JTI, and email that were in that ID token. You, of course, could uh, inject headers uh, that contain any value, any value you want. It doesn't have to be from a JWT. Uh, but um, you know that would be from whatever context or whatever system you have available um, that you want to use to, to extract information that is going to be used by the upstream system. All right, so that's a really quick example of Apogee, uh, an API proxy that uses the assign message policy to inject headers of a specific name with dynamic values that may be extracted at runtime from the API request. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if uh, you have any questions in the comments here. Uh, and as always, keep it digital.